My name is Josh Audubo. And I'm Garrett Jones. And we're both students at the Oklahoma State University of Center for Health Sciences. Uh, today we're presenting our research over the longitudinal analysis of gender and geographical representation in the developmental biology NIH study section. As this states within the introduction, we know that women are drastically underrepresented in the scientific community, and we can also see geographical disparities as well. The goal of this project was to show these disparities through the data extraction of NIH study sections using a pilot test to Google form, as well as online profiles in genderize.io. These study sections have several meetings throughout a year, so our goal was to find out how many of the members within the study sections were women and also what geographical region they were from. As you can see in Figure 2, the men outnumbered the women each year with no positive trend leaning towards that changing. <clears throat> And then moving on to figure three, where we uh, analyze the geographical differences between members of our section, you can see that from a year-to-year -year basis, there were no appreciable trends with regards to one region being noticeably overexpressed. However, when you take together all three years, the Northeast becomes um, regarded as an overexpressed region. And so moving on to the discussion, we found that the NIH Developmental Biology Study sections for all three years that we analyzed had more male members than female members. Additionally, um, like I was just saying for Figure 3, we found no obvious trends from a year-to-year -year basis in terms of membership uh, residents, <clears throat> but when taken together, the Northeast was uh, had significantly more members in that region. So. These trends may partially, partially be explained by the lack of turnover in the study section membership. So, for example, many of the members, both male and female, were recurring and participated in more than one meeting. So with that said, recent initiatives of inclusion might be dampened due to long-term memberships. It is also worth noting that member involvement for the year 2021 was less than previous years, and this is likely due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and so this could have also helped mask uh, more progressive initiatives. And so when moving on to our future directions, one thing that we could uh, do is to expand our study, we could include more study sections and increase the time frame. We could account for recurring members. Um, we could also assess gender and geographical representation in other scientific organizations rather than just the NIH. And we could also expand uh, the focus to include racial disparities rather than just gender and geographic.